Lake House Inn at Slave Creek. Okay, way too late in the year to be talking about this, but here we are. So I'm measuring out for the sign, basically. So we're gonna put the sign right back off of this line right here. I know she's not gonna wanna put it in the middle. So if you look up right there, everything's offset. If we put it right here in the middle, it's gonna be almost lining up with room number 206, which is the last room. 101 through 106, 201 through 206, 301 to 306. Cindy can't hardly reach the shower thing up there. They're all that high. Well, that's what I'm, I'm worried about. They must be putting handhelds on them like that. We can put that handheld right here if we want to. Okay, okay. Because she's just tall. I'm this tall, so yeah. she uses here. I raise it up. Okay, maybe we do something like that. All right, I got them digging the footer for the sign right now. I just sat in my truck and drew that up. Cindy's gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna tie that rebar and then get it ready for the footer tomorrow. Okay, ready for footer tomorrow. All right, it's looking like two pools now. You, can you swim? <laughs> you know how to swim? Yeah. For people who can't swim, they can get over in this one. So, there's my lovely wife over there who loves that I'm messing around with concrete some more. I'm gonna create our sign in, my yard. in her yard. I went to Lois and picked up two inch by four foot by eight foot pieces of foam. And I got some metal lath. So now I can reinforce my foam. The sign needs to be 10 feet long. So I'm gonna take that spray adhesive and see if I can make these two things stick together. I've got some letters being uh, made by Lanzer's printing. And so I'm gonna see if I can take this stuff and cut the letters out and then cement around them, then remove the letters. Anyway, I've got a plan. It's just so crazy it might work. I think today is April 18th and I know for a fact that we are getting ready to pour a footer at one o'clock for a new sign that's going right out there. I've got a trailer with block on it. We're gonna see what we can get done today. Got some masonry sand coming. Then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get some blocks set on it pretty quick. Concrete for the footer. We've got the lower uh, part set and now we're working on the post there in the background. Okay, a uh, little update here. We've got pretty much the tower built. Got us some conduit uh, for so we could have a receptacle off the back of this. Poncho's idea so Cindy could decorate for Christmas. All right, concrete's here. We're about to pour the cap. Let's pour some concrete. Got microwaves just in time to paint around them. Got appliances being delivered. Only supposed to bring half of the refrigerators and half of the microwaves. And they brought all of the refrigerators and all of the microwaves. So I'm gonna go over to the yellow building and try to get make room or see if there's room or whatever. Okay, so the problem right this minute is that I told them yesterday to pour these first and then pour the middle later. Well, some concrete got down there in the middle. It's blown this, these blocks out right here. They were wanting to take it down and start over. But what we've decided to do instead, strap it to make sure it doesn't get any worse. We will come and start saw cutting down to uh, wherever we need to. And we'll, uh, we'll just chip all that out. Hey, the guys didn't want to do a, a statue of Cindy, so we're doing a sidewalk ramp going to these cabins here. 
Like I said, they got the bond beam up there and tied and ready. Tara was telling me last night that uh, more women watch this video than men do uh, because they like to see all the cool fabrics and designs and all that. Ladies, I just don't know what is not exciting about this. Just looking at the curves and beauty of this pool and the rebar and all the mess around. You guys got to be loving this. Looking good. All right, okay, let's see how this looks. And yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Maybe get a little landscaping around some of that as well. Okay, so I'm meeting with Ashley, and guess what Ashley does? You can tell by looking at her shirt what she likes to do and she's probably really really good at it i've seen her stuff so we are bringing her some and these are the very first ones ashley i'm excited here this you know i've been excited i know here you can hold it up and i'll show everybody oh okay so on the front it has lake house in its lead creek yay and then on the back just a simple, got the website, but she is going to do some tie dyeing for me on these shirts. I don't know what colors yet. We're gonna talk about that. Stay tuned and then you'll get to see what they're all gonna look like. So these were hinged the wrong direction. You okay. had to open them over here. So I turned these around. Perfect. Okay. They'll slide back another five and a half inches. Okay. I'm gonna cut chunks of plywood to go back here to keep them from sliding back. Yeah, I get that. Right on the floor. Okay, I love it. If there's such a thing as curtains being high waters, these are. There's a difference of opinion here about how far down the shower curtain is supposed to go. My shower curtain does not go up that high. It sits down closer to the top of the shower. These people think that the shower curtain isn't supposed to go all the way to the bottom, but I kind of think it is. It keeps it from blowing out. We'll be moving that down to lights. Super crooked. Gonna have to come back and fix those. Okay, here we are. Right, here's our top for our sign. Nice enough for us to get some stone on there. Just borderline perfection. Pleased with that. Oh, Tyler is putting together the beds. Holy crap, is that the front door? It is. To all the people who've been wondering, the front of the hotel has like 18 rooms with 18 different colors on the doors because I've been testing. Inkwell by Sherwin-Williams is the new winner. My friend Mike is painting the doors. Yeah, that navy's gonna take a, a coat or two, isn't it? Yeah. These are cool. This is where the towels are gonna hang. So this will give you a place we can hang four large towels. Plus, got a little small hand towel thing over there. That hanger thing? Uh-huh. That will not fit a hanger. Scott and I talked about it. It's not big enough to hold a hanger. Okay, so I'm just gonna say to Tara that this is now the Laney cam. Of course, you, they're not gonna be able to hear you talk. Oh, it's so loud! Don't get me on your mama. That is very satisfying. Oh, isn't it? I'll watch videos Especially like this Especially on like a time. really dirty one though. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Nice. And, well, I wanted you to look at this. Are you gonna be able to see that from the road? <laughs> I think so. You think so? Well, Lord, yes. Okay. That's huge. Okay, all right, good deal. I thought that was a joke. Nope. It's Sunday, April 23rd, and I'm going to cut out some letters Okay, I've got my skill saw set on an angle. And I'm gonna commence to sawing here. So there's my styrofoam letters. And so now I'm gonna glue them down or tomorrow or next day I'll glue them down and we're gonna put another coat of cement. Let me see, oh, shut the door, let me look. Pretend you live here. <laughs> Hi! What a nice door you have! 
The guys are cementing the, all the first round of letters we got. Cementing them in, making sure that's nice and tied up against there. Wanted you guys to see some of the new Adirondack chairs that we have out there for the pool that these guys are using. 